Hi boys and girls, it's Mrs. Wheaton and I am back with a special guest today. This is my daughter. What's your name? Sophia. And how old are you, Sophia? Six. You're Sophia and six years old. Sophia, can I ask you a question? Yes. Do you like princesses? Yes. Have you ever wanted to be a princess? Yes. Have you ever wanted to meet a princess? Yes. In real life? Yes. Sophia, I bet there are a lot of little girls out there just like you who want to be a princess, who want to meet a princess. And I'm going to read a book today that is about a princess that you might know very well. <coughs> The title of this book is called Cinderella. Cinderella. And I'm going to read this book, Cinderella. And at the end of this book, I have a little secret for you about princesses, okay? Okay. Would you like to know the secret? Yes. Yes? Okay, well, let me dive into this book. And I'll let you sit right next to me and we can get started. Okay. Cinderella. Ooh, I opened the front cover and there is a beautiful title page. Cinderella. And you know what? Before I get started with this book, Sophia, yeah. I want to dedicate this book to you, which means it's like a shout out. I'm sending you a shout out. And I want to send a shout out to Simone. That's Miss White's daughter. Because she wants to be a princess, too. Once upon a time. Once upon a time. There lived a little girl named Cinderella, who was very beautiful and very kind. She lived with her mean old stepmother and her two evil stepsisters. She was not allowed out of the house except to tend the garden. So her only friends were the animals who loved her because she was so kind to them. I know a little girl that's beautiful and kind. Every day, Cinderella's stepmother and stepsisters made her wipe the cinders from the fireplace and clean the house from top to bottom. And every day, they made Cinderella draw their baths, style their hair, iron their clothes, and help them dress. One day, a royal messenger knocked on their door. The king is giving a royal ball for the prince tonight. Every girl in the kingdom is invited, he announced. Every girl but you, Cinderella, laughed her stepsisters. So Cinderella got her bucket and broom, and began her chores. As Cinderella swept the cinders, the young stepsister yelled, Cinderella, Cinderella, help me into my gown of silk and ruby. As Cinderella scrubbed the floors, the older stepsister yelled, Cinderella, Cinderella, help me into my gown of gold and diamonds. Soon, the evil threesome were dressed and on their way. We're off to the royal ball. If you were clean of cinders and had something to wear, Cinderella, you could go too, said her mean old stepmother. Such a shame, laughed her stepsisters. We're off to meet the prince, said one. One of us will be his wife, said the other. Are they being kind to Cinderella? No. No. Not being kind. 
They're not being kind at all, are they? Yep, they're not being kind. That are really rude. It is really rude. Cinderella ran to the garden and cried. Why do you think she's crying? Because she didn't get to go to the ball too. And they were being really rude to her. Slowly, a gentle wind of pixie dust and sparkles formed around her. Then someone appeared. Who? Who are you? Cinderella asked through her tears. I am your fairy godmother, and tonight you will go to the royal ball and meet the prince, said the woman. But how? asked Cinderella. Make haste. I need five mice, a rabbit, and a pumpkin, said her fairy godmother. Cinderella, don't stop to ask why. How do you think that made Cinderella feel? What's going on? Yeah, like what's going on? What's happening? Cinderella called to the animals and they came quickly. Then she picked a pumpkin from the garden. With a wave of her godmother's wand, the five mice became five sturdy horses. The pumpkin became a beautiful coach, and the rabbit became an elegant coachman. Cinderella was wearing the gown of her dreams, and tiny glass slippers sparkled on her dainty feet. Hurry to the ball, said her fairy godmother, but you must return home before the clock strikes 12 midnight. Th that is when my magic ends. When Cinderella arrived at the ball, the prince would not take his eyes off her. Everyone looked at the beautiful girl who had caught the eye of the handsome prince. May I have this dance? He asked. Yes, said Cinderella. And they danced and they danced and they danced. Until... What do you think is going to happen? I do not. Maybe she's going to have to leave the, um, the palace. Maybe she's going to have to leave. Let's see. The clock rang out 12 times. Oh, no. Boom, 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 boom. Boom, 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 boom. Cinderella remembered the words of her fairy godmother. You must return home before the clock strikes 12 midnight. Boom. It was 12. I think it was 12. Cinderella ran out of the palace. As she ran down the stairs, the prince found the tiny glass slipper she had left behind. On her way home, everything turned back to normal. The pumpkin, the mice, the rabbit, and her dress. I was trying to do 12. <laughs> Word traveled throughout the kingdom that the prince was looking for the girl whose foot could fit into the tiny glass slipper. He planned to ask her for her hand in marriage. <gasps> when the prince arrived at Cinderella's home, each of her stepsisters tried but couldn't get one toe into the tiny glass slipper. Then the prince saw Cinderella. He bent down on one knee 
and held out the slipper for her to try on. Her foot slipped right in. She and the prince both smiled. Finally, I have found you. Will you be my wife, she asked. He asked. Oh, and look at those sisters' faces. How do you think they're feeling? Um, sad. Yeah. And they're like, no fair. Cinderella said, yes, I will. And they lived happily ever after. The end. Well, Sophia, did you enjoy that story about princesses? Yes. Now, Sophia, remember at the beginning of the story, I told you that I have a secret for you about real princesses. Would you like to know what that secret is about real princesses? I want to know too. You want to know too? Mm -hmm. Well, if you ever want to see a real princess or a real prince, all you have to do is look in the mirror. Do you see a princess? Yes. I do too. I'll be a prince. He's there. You got to look for him. Well, boys and girls, that's our story for today. I hope you enjoyed. My dress. Yes. I hope you enjoyed our story of Cinderella. And I hope you know the real secret of princesses. If you ever want to see a princess or a prince, all you have to do is look in the mirror. Yeah. All right, uh -huh. tell everybody, see you later.